So here goes the next product in my, uh, in my detailing process or my car washing, in this case, wheel cleaning process. Of course, I always do the wheels before I do the, the whole car or do the, the rest of the paint. Uh, this is something I've been chasing for a while. And actually, let me grab the old mitt. I'd been using this. This is the uh, Griot's Four Finger Lambskin Mitt. Uh, this is a brand new one. This is one that I've never used. Uh, that, uh, that 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 this has been my standard and my go-to wheel cleaning uh, uh, product, and so or wheel cleaning tool. So what I would generally do: spray off the wheels with one Z or next Z Color Tech, one Z Z now Color Tech uh, wheel cleaner. Make sure to check out that video. It talks about you know how how why and how and and when to use that. So I'd spray the wheel down with that, let it sit for a second, get all set up. I'd come back around and use my, uh, I would use my Increda brush to clean the, the wheel wells or some other wheel woolly brush in the past, but now I use an Increda brush to get in the, the wheel wells. And then I would grab my race glaze uh, brush to do any lugs or the center lock area or the valve stem area, maybe even hit some of the caliper with a brush. Uh, and then I would come back and finalize the wheel by using my four finger mitt. So this is where I'd get all the spokes in behind and all the cracks and crevices, uh, which I'll show you uh, how we do that now with, with the new uh, FlexiPad version. So this has always been my standard, my go-to. I think it's probably been three years now, maybe two since Griot's. They actually discontinued, they brought it back, they discontinued it. I've called and pleaded with them over the years to try to get this back. I had bought like five or six of them and I had, that was down on my list as my last one. Uh, and so I started to search and people would send me, there's a, some Canadian website that has these on their site. I, I almost guarantee if they have them in any of them, they're probably just an old site that doesn't, I don't, I don't know the answer to it, but I, my guess is, you know, Griot's doesn't import them. They don't make them wherever they were making them. And so I don't, you know, I don't know where they were getting them from. I'd actually talk and talk to and been on um, Mark from Cars Yeah, his, uh, his podcast and asked him, hey, where did you get that thing? He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I had to explain to him, you know, what it was. And so I'm guessing these weren't a really very good seller. Uh, he couldn't remember where they'd sourced them from. Uh, and so uh, years, you know, probably two years ago, so three years ago, they stopped making them. And so then I went out and searched and I found Lake Country has one. Notice I don't have any here to show you. The Lake Country uh, would turn your hand black. Uh, and so that one, like literally your hand would be dyed like purplish black for days and it would come off. And it would continue to do that over and over and over again. And it would kind of fall apart. They were never as good because it was some sort of synthetic version. Where this is, you can even see inside of here. I don't know if you can see that. But there's actually real like lamb skin in there. So I don't know if they cut this off a of lamb or what. Uh, but this is a true wool or true lamb skin made, uh, made mitt. So one of the problems with this is that when it dries, it gets hard and brittle, you know, and it's kind of, it's kind of hard to reactivate it. So every time you use it, you need to, now it doesn't need reactivating now because it's brand new, uh, well, several years old, brand new, but it, it, it needs, it doesn't need reactivating like, like the, like the, like country didn't need reactivating like this one did. Uh, and so I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Or maybe I'll just use a microfiber sponge or something like that to do the wheels in the future. When this runs out, I'd pretty much given up hope. And then I just started searching. And I started searching catalogs all over the place. And I found this. Uh, so I found this company called FlexiPads. And they make, uh, again, this isn't really on their radar either. I doubt they sell very many of these, at least until I bought them. Uh, and, and so the this sucker here like takes this griots to the next level in that it is i believe um, i might be making this up but it's a you know i think this is a real sort of merino wool uh, or i don't think this is merino i think this is just general wool or lambskin this is merino wool and then the interior or the intersection the stitching is so much nicer you know everything about this let's see if we can get this focused in on here everything about the inside of this is much much higher quality let's flip it around a little bit here so you can see 
Uh, and so one of the real advantages to this thing is that it never gets brittle, it never gets stiff, and so you never have to reactivate it, you're just, just, just ready to roll. Uh, and then it's merino wool, so it's considerably softer than the coarser sort of general lambskin or lamb wool that you get on the griot's pad. Uh, so it does, um, you know, when you get it wet, these don't do, you know, wool in general, in my opinion, gets kind of flat. Uh, but for the wheels, it works out well. It's also a little bit bigger, which helps me because I have bigger hands. Uh, the Griot's is quite a bit smaller and shrinks even more once you use it a few times. Uh, so I like it because it's bigger. Maybe you guys wouldn't. I guess it doesn't really matter because this one doesn't exist. Uh, but this mitt, uh, I put it up in the store. I bought 300 of them. Actually, I put it up in the, in the, in the Facebook group. Hey, I've got these. Finally, people have been watching me, watching me use my griots forever. I've been telling them I'm going to try to find a solution. Lots of people have done LA countries, which just aren't good. I don't even think they make them anymore. Uh, I'm not sure. And so I put them up and we sold 300 of them overnight. I'm like, oh crap. So I ordered 500 more. I think we have to place another order. Uh, and I haven't even made the video. I haven't even made this video yet. And so they're just, just sort of put them up in the store randomly and announced that, hey, they're there. Uh, and so my guess is a bunch of you that watch the video are going to buy this as well. This is a, I think, a game-changing wheel cleaning uh, piece of equipment. Uh, I'm selling it for 10 bucks. In the wheel cleaning package, you get two of them, uh, which will last you a long, long time. I'm not even sure you need two of them. Uh, I'd probably, if it were me, I'd probably buy five of them just so that I had them in my cabinet so I could get them when I need them. I, in fact, I have five of them in the cabinet uh, just, just in case, you know, in case they, there's a short supply or something. This, again, is so important to me for cleaning wheels that I like to have these. Uh, and for 10 bucks, you know, it's a really high, high quality piece of equipment. I probably should sell them for more, but. Uh, and uh, they they really really work great, and uh, you know I'm importing them from the UK, and so there's there's a cost associated with bringing them in. The only thing I would say that when you're using them, um, the, I don't know if you can see this in the bag, but there's some some fibers. You know the, you you I will I, it says not to put it in the washer, not to machine wash them. I don't listen. I throw them in the washer and on cold with, uh, you know, by themselves when I first get them, it kind of shakes out a lot of the extra uh, black stuff. Otherwise, you're going to leave some left on your wheels and it's going to drive you nuts for like a, a week or two. So instead, we can alleviate that by just throw in the washer. I don't throw it in the dryer, uh, but just put it in the washer and that way it kind of shakes out a lot of the junk. You don't even need to use any detergent in there. Just throw it in there and that'll, that'll clean them up. So that's the pad, uh, what it looks like brand new. Let's go use it and show you how I, you know, work the contours of the wheel. With, with these. All right, so we're continuing on the process of, uh, of cleaning the wheels, bringing you up to speed on this video. Uh, I've already done the wheel wells with the easy detail brush. I've done the barrels of the wheel with the, uh, with the Increta brush, uh, the Increta brush flat, and now we'll break out this brand spanking new uh, merino wool flexi pad mitt. So we have, and this will start to mat up a little bit. Let's spray a little bit more of our color tech on here because I've been making videos. I've been, normally I, I, I'm a lot further along in this process. And so don't think this will stay this fluffy forever. It will mat up a little bit. It does stay nice, but it does it does, you know, flatten out a bit. So notice with our with our Nexet wheel cleaner that we do get some some suds. We do get some foaming from this, and you can't see it turning purple. So I don't know if I'm doing the best job of showing you the the reproduct or how this how this stuff works or reproducing the best benefits from it. But it will turn any kind of iron black. Uh, well, I'm sorry, purple, and and clean it up. And so. This is why I prefer uh, Nexet Color Tech over, say, Full Effect or some of the others, because we get this this foaming action on it. And so, uh, again, I like this wheel cleaner the most simply because of how well it does at at creating a little bit. I feel like I get more lubrication on this than I do on some of the other wheel cleaners, uh, and and it, you know, it also does a good job of breaking down iron. So. Anyway, check out the uh, check out the next set in the store, and uh, again, just be prepared for a little bit of stench. So the beauty of this is that I can really get in 
and get all those areas, especially on the front of the wheel, that I can't reach with brushes. You know, so I can clean the face of the wheel and I'll have a tendency to flip from front to back. And I'll spray out, spray it out often. And to stay well on my hand. I can get in here with my fingers and get these crevices. I mean, these wheels are pretty easy to clean in comparison to some. But as usual, I want to get all the barrels. I want to get in here and hit all the areas. So that's the Flexi Pads, four finger, wool, merino wool mitt. Uh, and the extent of my cleaning of this. And I'll wring it out. And then when I'm done, I'll generally leave it on the end of one of like say the, the easy detail brush. So I'll leave it on the end there so it has a chance to dry out so it doesn't get moldy or, or used up. It's one of the few parts or one of the few tools for wheel cleaning that I don't worry about uh, washing. Uh, I don't put it in the washer, I just rinse it off like that and it, it tends to do really well. So that's the Merino Wool Flexi Pads Wheel Cleaning Mitt. force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, to the floor, to the floor.